Uh, we have Lonnie Quinn here yes. as well. 90s in a lot of places. Oh, yeah. We had, uh, we had a bunch of 90s out. This is our second 90-degree day in a row. If you hit 90 tomorrow, it'll be our first heat wave of the season. I think it's going to be close. Uh, we may be just shy of it, but either which way, it's hot and humid. Current condition, that yeah, shows you just that. At this hour, 617, almost 618 in, in the evening. It's 84 degrees. 84 degrees. There it is. 84 degrees right now. Sort of a sun and cloud mix overhead. 90 was the high temperature. We were just talking about that. 85 should be the high, so you're five degrees above the average. But no rain recorded in the rain bucket in Central Park. Consequently, all five boroughs of New York City and, and a bunch of other spots have been bumped up now to a moderate drought situation. That includes all of Long Island, shoreline areas of Westchester, Fairfield County, a little sliver of Bergen County as well, and portions of Monmouth County. Everything else shaded in yellow is just abnormally dry. You could use some rain. The reservoirs are doing surprisingly well. They're below where they should be, but it's not dramatic. They should be at 95%. They're at 90.5, so 4.5% below where they should be. But remember, a lot of our reservoirs sit in the spots that got pummeled with all that big rain uh, last week. So again, we're below where we should be, but it's not terrible. Do we see more rain coming? The fact is we do. This front is going to be making its way through the area. High pressure has been really giving us some good weather days. It's going to do okay tomorrow, but this low pressure system right here is also and taking shape. So I want to show you how this is all going to work out. Let's pull up the computer models and show you how we think the rain's going to play out for us. So this is what we've got out there right now. Again, I showed you that little cell like up around the vicinity of Scranton. This is pretty much a good initialization. Let's watch what happens. You get into the morning, watch this. See that wind coming in off the water, pushing in? Fog. I think some of you could have visibilities tomorrow that are like a half a mile, maybe even less. Could be some advisories issued. I think you'll have a foggy start for portions of our area. This is 7:30. Now, what about that front? Well, the fog's going to break. The skies are going to come out with some sunshine. It's going to heat and percolate that front, and you do start to see some isolated showers, maybe some storms. But this is 5 p.m., and the same dynamic is still at play. You saw that wind coming in off cooler, relatively cooler water than the land, so it's going to beat this up. Watch what it does. I mean, it's still out there, but it doesn't never really materialize as a huge wall of water. By 12:30 Saturday, kind of a repeat performance. Again, an isolated cell of some heavy rain out there, and you see it sort of, you know, spotty on Saturday. Then you get into Sunday, and then Sunday is where we think we're going to see a better chance for some rain to eventually make its way into the area. Watch how this sort of spills over the whole area. Sunday looks to be wetter than Saturday. So we're 87 for your day tomorrow, 86 on Saturday. Both those days are running, you know, somewhere like a 20 to 30 percent risk uh, for some wet weather. Then you're going to get to Sunday. We're going to bump that up to 60 percent chance. Flash flooding is a concern for Sunday, maybe even into Monday. Monday, you're 82. Tuesday, the rain lingers. As of right now, Wednesday and Thursday just looks to be hot and kind of steamy out there. <laughs> Which it's, hey, it's now July the 6th, and we're, we have not had our first heat wave yet. It's getting close. Hot enough. I totally, to water I totally. I totally. <laughs> We're I, I, I don't necessarily root for heat waves. Thank you, Lonnie. <laughs>